Hey everybody, I wanted to put together a little message here. It's a really important message to get all the way through, but it's it's not just one part, it's in five parts. And I'm going to go A, B, C, D, and E. And A is the most important, and it's on the importance of family support over dismissal and displacement. And it's just like the, the dismissal of like what a person's going through and what a person is saying. And displacement is like taking a person away from who they're trying to be in for the Lord and with the Lord. And um, it's to place them into places that they believe are wholeheartedly not able to help in that way. It's It's actually just leaving them, it's taking them away from what they're trying to do. And so, just real quick, I just wanted to, I just wanted to say thanks real quick for you guys. Please listen to this whole message. Don't, don't skip this video. When a family member faces serious challenges, particularly when there's evidence of, a, of targeted hardships and possible exploitation, the most beneficial approach, financially, emotionally, and spiritually, is to actually support them directly when possible. I know people have things going on in their families and lives that, that make a person feel like it prevents them from doing these things or from supporting them. But just where there is time, you know, it might help to, to reach out call that person and say how are how are you doing or to reach out to that person if if they have any any bit of advice for them and stuff like that these things can go a long way and so placing someone in a facility without first trying to address the root cause of the problem alongside of them in a fashion doesn't align with it doesn't align with the family values that are are like from sound doctrine. I feel through that sound sound care in a, in in a strategic way, and and here's why. The first the first reason is that it creates strength through investment. And to explain that is help helping me in that way now, in a way that al aligns with my faith aligns with my safety and making me feel safe that dreams can be created as an un, as a sustainable path towards that financial stability and success i'm creating a heartworks charity is what i'm trying to do and i have all the parts and pieces written up it's just that when you're hacked in that way there's people that are working hard against you to be able to do that very thing and I'll just have to say that I would go up against Facebook and TikTok and Instagram in such a profound way that the people that it would reach and the people that it would help would do a lot. Like, I believe it's like the number one thing that the world truly needs right now. And, and not just for myself, but for many people. And so it benefit all those people who are involved both emotionally and financially in the long term. And I, and I can explain that in other videos, but supporting me directly creates the potential for that shared income, that shared experience that, that reinforces a, a, a lasting legacy of resilience. Two is mental health through empowerment. And it's not to seek medication because medications have been really, really hard on me, my body, and it goes against my beliefs. It goes against my religious beliefs. So I believe that my mental well-being is tied into working with my own heart's work and pursuing my goals and knowing that my loved ones believe in my ability to succeed that want to actually support me in my successions there whereas taking medications are in direct comp are in direct conflict with my religious beliefs 
and values that actually worsen my state of mind and diminish my sense of control and instead and instead pro- productive outlets and physical support help to relieve that stress in my life and foster my self-confidence and my hope for the future. Three is avoiding institutional trauma because I've been oftentimes pushed in that blight. You can consider it just plain blight, but it's urban blight as well, where people are just, they're pushed into certain situations that literally drains them out of self and drains them out of the recourse of actions that they can take for themselves to establish mental health. And what I can say about that is just rollerblading eight miles a day, for an example, or more. I mean, I've done a lot. I used to be like a 360 or 300, what was I, 330 pounds, I think. And so I've done a lot of work on myself, you guys. And so just avoiding, avoiding that kind of institutional place is a thing that can help me because pushing me into a place like that is actually what led me to a long time of not being able to get back to myself in that fashion to work on the things that I wanted to work on with the Lord in the first place. Uh, Facilities and institutional settings often create environments where people end up feeling powerless and more unsafe. Many individuals report feeling like they lose control, which can result in more harm than healing and then bringing loved ones support around and those who provide real support in my goals helps keep me grounded and helps me to avoid that trauma that institutions can cause that take take away time and everything like that and number four and this is the last section of a is that is it's called preventing exploitation and misinformation when you help me directly you're in the best position to see firsthand that truth of my situation in an institutional setting it's easy for details to become lost misinterpreted or just plain old overlooked by standing with me you're ensuring that i have advocates that understand my values and my personal truths and experiences that don't want to push me into more places that take Mm -hmm. me away from being able to be myself and protect me from systemic manipulation. And then B is why, why this support of HeartWorks and my heart's work matters to me and my independence with my beliefs can actually benefit everyone financially because the incentives that are that I'm building inside of inside of a campus type of thing that I'm building is really phenomenal it's just that I believe that those things are partly why I'm being targeted in the fashion that people don't want me to have these things and I don't know what the reasons are but rather than draining my resources Supporting me within my heart's work is important to me because I actually want to create those incentives for growth in that way. First first part of this section is establishing a new income stream. Those income streams can help the potential to generate revenue through various means. And I don't want to get into that because that's these are private to me to be able to take take a to be able to take a thing out into the world and it's it it gets into content creation creation merchandise uh speaking engagements where people can get paid for speaking um there's there's plenty of ways that people can learn how to learn how to make money with their voice you know voice.com and things like that where people can sell or try to sell their abilities to, to speak or to use their use their voice and by investing in with me in this way can create those charitable donations as well and supporters that actually have a chance to profit from an emerging brand and branding themselves that they're trying to help build 
per person can solve not only the immediate the immediate issues in my life but can also help me help me be able to get to other people that I believe need our help out here in the world and the number two section in this is public support and grant opportunities once heart work were to gain traction the actual website there are numerous grants and communities funds available for organizations that promote healing promote mental health awareness and advocacy against systemic abuse being involved in a heartworks charity could open the doors to funding others that benefits everyone in a way to where they can get involved in the charity there's many avenues that I've been creating inside of like inside of the campus to where anyone that can get involved there's massive potential for for income streams to be made and though it might not be like when it first comes out it might not be right away but these things can pay in multiple avenues you guys so number three in this section is enhancing community reputation and network involvement in a socially impactful project like what heartworks would be is to also help those supporting it to build a reputation as compassionate energetic and socially responsible people this positive public image can lead to more personal and professional opportunities that can enrich the lives beyond just financial incentives these things can pay dividends and i believe that they pay in ways that money you can't buy number four is the collaborative financial gains through things like GoFundMe campaigns, like I was mentioning before, people who help support me in that way to create a campaign for me can help me launch Heartworks to be able to take an early stake inside of the financial incentives and the social returns as I would be making acknowledgments in an acknowledgment section on the website, which these things will pay you directly for your support in into what I'm trying to build and every effort that's made to help me establish this like I said before will pay pay the dividends as the movement grows as the mission grows and to tell you the truth I'm growing it because I've been I've been saved an awful lot through my prayers and I basically wanted to create this for a gift for the Lord to say thank you and no I can't hide it from the Lord I'm not necessarily trying to do that it's just that I'm just trying to bring this 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 out for the Lord and in, and it's a topic is what it is and it's the topic of, of Christ, Christianity and in that sentiment you don't have to be a Christian to be a part of the website because it's a charitable operation but it would have that section involved in it and that'd be the main section that I'm I'm working in I'm trying to grow for my own hearts work but the courses and classes can help people get involved in such a way that they can get involved in their own hearts as work dust their dreams off of their shelf off of the shelf and take those things down and get to work because these things could these things can really change things and change things dramatically really quick in a fast fast way so the fifth part is building real estate and prop and property connections as heart work builds a following and support networks it's like a it's kind of like a network marketing in that in that sense but fo following we can hold events can create workshops we can work on things together as a team that can find permanent community space out here in the world and by working on this with me supporters can access real estate network in the networks and even earn opportunity and even earn from the opportunities that are already there and help others uh, help create different opportunities to find and develop those different avenues 
of change. So I hope that makes sense. It was, I mean, it's kind of hard to put the put that into perspective in a in a small snippet without giving you too much information. I hope that makes sense. The next section is C, and this one just has the one one message. Why my faith and purpose align with the mission for change and not medication is because my religious beliefs are at the core of my approach to healing and to my own mental health and wellness. And it's based on how a lot, how oftentimes I've been treated so poorly by people close to me and I don't agree with it. I don't find peace or healing through, through medication. I feel sedated. I feel like I'm fighting other areas inside when there is medication involved to where it just doesn't allow me to be who I am. What allows me to be who, who I am is finding that through faith, through exercise, and building on things that matter. So when people help me live in alignment with my values there, it actually helps my my well-being and boosts my effectiveness as far as my creation process goes. Forcing medication as a, as a requirement could just erode that trust and it hurts my mental health while preventing me from living in a way that is authentic to myself and promotes true healing. For me, anyway, if other people do fine on medications, that's fine, but I've I've had nothing but really hard hardship there. So the next section D is two two paragraphs. It's just a single, but it's called Recognizing the Urban Blight and Targeted Hardships that are real obstacles to mental health. The environment play, plays a critical role in these current challenges that I face. Urban blight and the decay of you know, being in neighborhoods where there's poverty, crime, and a lack of resources created an endless loop for me of hardship where it was just hard to get over these, over these hurdles and actually overcome them. Living with that kind of blight, I've faced compounded stressors and barriers that limited access to, to me to be me. And me, instead of being me, has always been pulled away as quickly as I get settled into a place where I'm like, yay, I get to go to work on something. And then it's just pulled away. And that's kind of what helped me discover that I was being hacked I was being hijacked and just made on purpose to misalign me. And then on top of it, they had access to areas in ways that nobody should. It's meddling in where I, where they don't belong, breaching my trust, you drawing the line, having set boundaries and things like that. These are critical things that happen in people's lives that leaves people in real trouble. So this is why I'm asking for real tangible support from family, community, and friends, rather than just temporary solutions that don't actually address these hardcore issues in my life. With your support, I can move towards stability and reach a point where my own heart's work can thrive as a source of financial freedom, not only for myself, but for those that get involved. Working with me to achieve this goal is the most effective way in creating the solutions that help us break free from these cycles in our lives. And it is. It's cycles of abuse. Rather than sending me into places where my autonomy is restricted, in other ways, just restricted. And you often end up, well, I had to go through an awful lot not being able to work on anything I felt that was for me. Um, even even in just going to work, because if I'm going to work and you're being hacked, where does your money go? Goes in, it just goes into hyperspace, and you're going to work for nothing. If as as far as you not knowing where it's coming from, it just goes away, and you're going to work. You don't break even. 
none of those things. They're not actually going to work then. So that's what encouraged me to work on this with the Lord. And then the last section, E, is the final message for encouragement and support rather than dismissing me. I don't want to be dismissed in, in this with your own ability and your own outreach of support to be able to utilize 12 minutes or 20 minutes, however long it takes to really figure out a campaign that you can put together. There's plenty of ways online and things like that, but anyone considering to help me, I really urge for your support, not skepticism. And together, we can build our heart's work, not just my, my heart's work, but your heart's work. And a lot of people's hearts is work that is just kind of taken taken away because they oftentimes people throw in the towel or they they're pushed into urban blight and things of that nature. What I often have faced up with in my life is narcissism that actually would rather push you into that blight and push you into that situation so you're dealt with just stacks and stacks of this abuse. And then when it is that, when it just gets to a point, it just erodes you to where it's crazy making is what it's called. It makes you look crazy, but you're not actually crazy. You're actually just dealing with a whole bunch of difficult circumstances that are forcing you to look that way. So real, inve real investment help from these trusted sources is how we can turn this thing around with the potential rewards being greater than I believe that anything else anybody else is involved in. And the reasons I say that is because there's parts inside of this that I've been I've been working with and making and creating that can actually make a huge incentive for people to be able to get involved. And I'm not talking just a little bit of money. I'm talking life changing money, you guys. Or life changing cryptocurrencies or life changing there's ability that's all I'm saying it's very very valuable and for someone not to see its value is just beyond me because the, the the ways that it can pay in dividends and the ways that it can pay in other ways are just immense so please consider standing alongside me and being a supporter in this and putting a campaign together with me or for me Supporting me in this kind of way is a path towards my shared growth, our shared growth, and the impact and fulfillment that we can create together. So it's important to me to express in this that my own family's support is vital to me and how it's working how it's working to collaborate on being working smarter instead of harder. And as far as with where I'm saying that's happened to what's happened to me, I already think it's just, it's isolation. And honestly, I'm trying to use discernment, like, are these people for me or what's going on? Like, it has nothing to do with this work, but everything to do with just being able to respect my values and encourage these financial benefits that we can share in to create a real supportive network together and your your encouragement. I mean, I've worked on this. I've worked on every single part that has to do with this business, and I have it like all ready to roll out. The only thing that I have going on right now is, well, I was hacked. So it's just I have a whole lot to accomplish and to to kill as far as like what I'm trying to trying to create, and it's just a laundry list that gets harder and harder and harder when you're exploited through that kind of targeting and malignant narcissism. So thanks for being here and listening to my message. I hope this encourages you to put together a campaign for me and to really see where I'm actually at because I don't feel like myself with everything that's going on right now. It's just so hard. So hard. It's I'm in dire straits out here, you guys. And I believe that without these things that have happened to me, that if you look back back throughout my content, I believe wholeheartedly that I would be already multi-millionaire by now. So, 
please put it in a, into that into that perspective perspective i would also be fuller and <laughs> um stronger and more active and bright and energetic and you know i'd have that have a better motivating spirit about me whereas this is just it's so much that you can see it in my face you can see it in my eyes like i'm like ah you know but i really hope that you can see a different person in me because i'm really trying and i'm and i'm holding myself together pretty well considering the god awful amount of abuse that i've been enduring so again thanks again for being here thanks for supporting me